My thing was like, my drunk ass was gonna f the story up so bad, and I gotta go back to South Africa. So I'm not gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless of what you see on this program, please drink responsibly. This is Drunk History Black Stories. My name is Juliana Nuga, and I'm joined by a very special guest. This man has not got a single ounce of fat on his body. All he is is muscle. <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. It's wild. Mm. If you've never been to the gym before, Check out my guest right now. His name's yeah. Koji Radical. He is your goal in life. Thank Hi, Koji. You. I've completed gym. And <laughs> I have. I've completed it. I'm just in there doing side missions these days. Honestly, I'm going to take a sip. No, take a sip. Oh, cheers. Sorry. Chin chin. Salut. Oh, my God. Cullinan the first, Julie. Excuse, excuse me? Cullinan the first. OK, yeah. It's a diamond. The diamonds are currently displayed in the crown jewels. Oh, OK. Big diamond. Mm. Flawless diamond. Beautiful. Roughly about the size of your imagination. Perfect. And it's got more shapes and size than the average diamond. OK? Mm -hmm. You seen Usher walk out the barbershop and you don't have to call? Yeah. That kind of shape up is <laughs> sharp. <laughs> Key to a good story uh -huh. is you got to go somewhere to get somewhere else. And we're here now. That was crazy. Right? Yeah. So Elizabeth is not with us no more. OK. May I still rest in peace. You know? Mm -hmm. People start murmuring. There's murmurs. Murmur, 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 murmur. No one was screaming louder and more fluently uh -huh. than the South Africans. I can bet you a whole ATM you don't know what this thing's called. So they start a movement. Um, OK, go on. Do you know what the movement's called? ATM. <laughs> <laughs> what? African Transformation Movement okay. is what they was called. Okay. Vuluetu Zungula. Zungula mm -hmm. is the head of the African... He's, he's up there. He was addressing the South African Parliament. Mm -hmm. He's in there now. What do you say? You lot are making me sick. Every time I go there, I'm by myself. What's going on? What's going on? You. <laughs> yes, you. What, what, what? What, well, you don't like diamonds? You don't like shining? You don't like shining. They're better shining with our diamonds, bruv. They're better shining with our diamonds, bruv. And you lot are just in here chatting. We have to demand it back. God, we can't ask for it anymore. We can't. We can't. I'm tired. You're tired. You look tired. You've looked tired for 66 years. They were saying, listen, we know you're grieving. It's awkward. I don't even want to be that guy. <laughs> Honestly, I don't. But you have a couple of things that belong to us. We're going to need them back. And to be honest, we don't even need to make a big deal about it. Put it in a little box. Brown tape it. FedEx. Royal Mail. UPS. Anything. 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 Just send it back. We just need the diamonds. It's between 1866, December. Sun was beating. Because these times in South Africa, that's their summer. There's a you. He's on his dad's farm. So he's sweating and doing things that kids do. He's just on the farm, walking around, living his life, doing farm stuff. I'm not here to be in his business, honestly. But I know that day he found, like, it was like, he almost thought it was a piece of glass. Wow, what's that? He starts digging. That glass. It's not glass. But it looks like glass. But it's not. All right, cool. Say less. Takes it out. I can just take this right now, you know. Nah, no. Nah. No. Puts it down because he didn't want to get in trouble. Kimberley was the area where the farm was. Where Orange the river, was. Where the, the ute know. was. Okay. Word gets out. Everyone rushes to that area. And by everyone, you mean? Kimberley and all her friends. Okay. Everybody, all the colonizers rush to the area, yeah? And they start digging up at an alarming rate. Do you know what I'm saying? 22 million tons of earth was dug up to get was it three tons of diamonds. And you got to dig pretty deep to actually get to the good stuff. So they was digging and digging and digging. It wasn't like in that diamond rush, they was doing things fairly with the South Africans. Do you know what I mean? Like the conditions were horrible. There was forcing people to work. South Africans remained in poverty while people was coming over and basically forming big mining businesses yeah. at the expense of the South Africans. And there was two dons, there was two dons in particular. Yeah. One's called Cecil, yeah. one's called Barney. 
Good people or bad people? I mean, probably bad. They don't like each other, though. OK. They're not feeling each other. But just like the roads, when there's a new product, it gets busy outside. It starts looking like carnival. Yeah, absolutely. So they basically said, you know what? We, we, we can do this separately, or we can do this together. But I'm doing it. So what are you on? Cecil's in there, he's stroking his chin. Do you know what I'm saying? A couple of ingrowns, it's painful. He's like, I hear what you're saying. Honestly, I do. I'd rather do this with anyone else in the world. Mine's is like, bro, there's no one else. It's me and it's you. And it could be us. So what are you saying? Do you know what? <clears throat> do you know what? Why not? Put it there. And shake a piece of it. 1888, mm -hmm. they start the Beers Consolidated Mining Company. Right? So everyone's doing it on a lonesome, just trying to find diamonds. These two come together. Every, everyone, if you had to imagine, if we had to simplify, everyone's outside with a shovel, they yeah. got the digger. Oh, uh, okay. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 1902, mm -hmm. they acquire the premier diamond mining company. On one of their mines, there's a brother. Mm -hmm. This brother's name's Frederick. He woke up that day and he was just mad. Why is everyone leaving the lights on? Whose cups is this? <laughs> What's going on? This is a pigsty around here, bruv. Like, you lot are me off, seriously. <laughs> and he comes out to micromanage. Oi, oi, you lot, bruv, you lot. Seriously, bruv, look, dishes is piling here, bruv. I'm gonna stop giving you lot water if you don't know how to wash your cups. <laughs> sorry, boss. Do you mean sorry, boss? Why is everyone crowded around? What's going on here? So he goes, he's looking over now. They're all looking at a mad thing. Lights are shining. Oh. It's mad. It's the size of a human heart. It's massive. It's a down. diamond? A diamond. Right? The size of a human heart? The size of a human no, heart. No, because you actually understand how big a human heart is. I've seen Icebox. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Frederick's like, yeah, safe. I'm taking this. But then Frederick's like, actually, do you know what? Let me take this to Bossman. OK. So he takes this to a man called, is it Thomas Cullinan? And Cullinan names it after himself. I was, just, <laughs> I, was, I was just gonna say, when you said his name, I thought that name sounds familiar. Mm -hmm. It's because you said it earlier. I did say it earlier. You gotta tell so a story to tell a story. So this mother named the, the yeah. diamond after himself and he didn't do nothing. in a land that was not his. He wasn't even there. He didn't find it. He didn't see nothing. It was Frederick that found Frederick it. Frederick found but it. But Frederick found it through the other people that were actually mining. Somebody was doing their job. Okay. King Edward VII. It's his birthday. He's turning 66. Okay. The government now are like, do you know what? We need something for old Eddie. The diamond was originally given to the king because he was keeping the peace. Between what? Colonizers and South Africans. I've had enough of this story. You can leave now. Anyway, boom, the diamond comes for him. 66th birthday, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he, listen, <laughs> listen. The man is gas, he's a happy dog, okay? Yeah, <laughs> for me. Nah, I can't. Nah, I can't. Big Edward! Everyone move back! Everyone move back! It's too close to my. Woo! Clear, you know? Mm. Picks it up. Nah, you're not joking. This can't be for me. It's for you, man. You've been keeping the peace for. Yeah. Of that bow of war, the great bow of war. Mad thing, bro. We ain't had nothing like that in time. Five years. Five years is the least we could do. All right, all right, cool, cool. Hey, someone get a tapestry right now. Get a tapestry, stop playing. Wait, wait, let me change the pose. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna go crazy. <laughs> Puts it in a long stick. Just in the stick. Just put it in the stick. Drawing the, the coronation, you can see the scepter, you can see the brooches, you can see, you can see the colours. You can see it can there see the, in your face. Saying. It's hard to see you lot flaunting our wealth in front, in front of, of us. The world, yeah. Further outrage. Because I'm really annoyed right now. You're gonna keep going. I know. There's outrage, and then there's further outrage. Oh my gosh. 
because the diamonds are currently displayed in the crown jewels, which can be found in the Tower of London. But on that sign, it basically says, this was a gift to our king, deal with it. <laughs> Wait, Wait, what? What? They gave it to us. Why are you mad? That's so basically what it says. That's basically what it says on the thing. It's basically like, forget about it. Coach Radical, mm -hmm. as much as you told me a devastating story. That's up. Every cloud has a silver lining. Has to. Right now, we have the power after you telling this story. Mm -hmm. It's not just me that learned it, it's everyone that just watched. Mm -hmm. So we can actually make a change, potentially. And I think we should make a change. I, I feel think like so. we should hold the royal family accountable mm. for their role in colonisation. Mm. Because Britain does have a habit of, you know, throwing stones, hiding their hands. Yes. And they had a lot of stones to throw. Yes. So, let's give them their stuff back, please. Let's give them their stuff back, please. <laughs>